Okay, this is the case for the Model 18 transfer case. One of the things I like to try to do with it is it's easy to get confused as to where the front and the back are. So what I tend to do is I'll put a piece of tape on the top and put an arrow pointing the direction towards the front. Also, my tape is going to be on the top, so that makes a quick and easy reference for where the front is, where the top is. And uh, so you can do that. You can not do that. It's all up to you. And when you're done, you just pull it off. All right. <clears throat> this is the surface that's going to attach to the T90 transmission. You need to make sure where your bolt holes are that, have, that are threaded that they're cleared. Okay, make sure that the threads are good. Make sure that this area's surf surface is good. This area right here is where your rear, your T90's rear bearing rides inside. So this is what locks the main shaft into the T90 transmission is when it, all this is bolted up. All right. This side over here is where your front bearing retainer assembly is going to go. All right. We will get into the bearing retainer assembly later, but this is where it's going to ride. What you want to make sure here, you've got five bolts and make sure the threads for all five bolts are good. Make sure that there's none standing proud like this one here is standing just a little bit proud. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a file and file that down just a little bit. Because what will happen if you don't bring that down and leave that up, when you try to bolt this down flush, it can catch on the surface here of the bearing retainer or bearing retainer and keep it from going all the way down flat flat and keeping you from getting a good positive seal on your gasket all right that's what you want to do here um let me take a second and i'll show you how to do that okay what you're going to want to do is lay your flat your file flat against the surface and ride it perfectly straight across the area that needs to be filed. All right. If you come at it at an angle, you can gouge the metal, and you don't want to gouge the metal at all. Okay, now that's nice and true. That bearing cap will sit on there nice and flat. I'll have to go back and check each of the rest of these, make sure that they're all good, but you want to do that. All right. Move on. Do the same thing with the bottom of the transfer case. You're going to check each of these bearings, uh, bolt holes and make sure that they're all good. You want to chase each one of them with a uh, tap and make sure that it's good. Make sure there's no cracks. Look carefully for cracks or anything else that's going to cause you any grief later because if the case is bad, you want to get rid of it. All right. On the back side, this is where your cover goes for your access to whether you want to install a... Uh, PTO, an overdrive, um, or just the access cover for getting into your output gear coming out of your T90 transmission. That's where this bolt's on. Okay, these five bolts. Cover comes off. Center hole here is where your intermediate shaft will go through. It will fit in here, like so. Don't try to force it any further than right there unless you're ready to install it. Um, the back of this gear is about four thousandths larger than the front side and if you try to force that through you will do damage to your case so don't do that but that's where your intermediate shaft goes make sure that there's no cracks radiating out from here a lot of times this is the failure point for these transfer cases they will crack when something gets wedged in the gears or the gears get so worn the bearings wear out to the point where the gears bind against each other it will simply crack this case in half and it will start it right here all right, at the back right here, this is where your rear bearing retainer goes. Your rear bearing retainer is going to fit on here like so. All right, it'll fit here. Underneath here is where your shim pack is going to go. Like so. Sorry. Like so. Shim pack goes here. Bearing retainer goes there. Again, you want to check all your bolt holes and make sure that they're all good. Last thing that you want to check on this thing, aside from cleanliness, 
is you want to look let's see if you can see it here at that hole right there okay in that hole is going to be the fit for this shaft okay there's no bushing or anything else in there it's just an open fit you want to make sure that it doesn't wobble around too much in there all right make sure there's nothing in there make sure it's not cracked or anything all right that's going to be your last fit on that the last part of your case is going to be the cap <clears throat> this is your bottom pan for your transfer case what you want to do is look along the bottom edge all the way along and make sure there's no air gaps what will happen is people will tighten and tighten and tighten and tighten these until they're trying to seal up a leak and in reality they just got a bad gasket and they kept tightening and tightening and what they've done is they've distorted this cap and making it work leak worse so this one's already been nice and straightened and repainted and everything uh, but what you'll find is these will flare out and they won't be nice and even along this edge right here and so you'll have to take and flatten them back out put them on a nice hard flat surface and tap them down with a hammer get it all nice and level so that when you set it back on here and look under it you don't see any daylight shining through underneath there all right that's what you're after if you can't get a good cover uh, there are people out there who sell replacement covers that are much heavier duty than this one but I've never had any trouble getting one of these to work this is your front bearing cap assembly your shifter rods are going to come through here there will be a seal on each of these your shift levers will fit up through here and come down and attach to your rods right here okay things you're going to be looking for on here that are broken sometimes you'll find that this portion right here where it attaches to the frame it's for a mount uh, a lot of times these will be broken I've got three of them that are broken um, you're going to want to inspect this area right here where your bearings uh, sorry where your gasket is you're going to inspect that make sure that there's no cracks or pulled nothing's wrong there right here at the top is where your vent goes for your crankcase on the side here one there and one on this side these are for your poppet balls to go in Bob poppet balls and springs and your um, interlock pin or pill some people call it um, we'll get to that later but they'll go through there your yoke output is here and there will be a seal installed here this is your rear bearing carrier you're going to inspect it again like everything else for cracks this is your shim pack okay this particular one didn't have much in it I just had two shims in it we have a new shim pack on order for it if yours are in if your thick ones are in good shape like this you can reuse them otherwise um, go ahead and order a new one you may have to anyway to get the proper um, end play on your bearings okay but inspect this you're looking if you look inside here you will see that there's damage inside let me get some light here If you look inside here you'll see that someone has heavily damaged the inside edge of this bearing carrier taking out the seal if you use a proper seal puller the seal should come right out and you shouldn't have to do anything like that however if you take yours apart and you find that it's damaged by a previous owner like mine was um, just make sure that you put plenty of sealant inside there when you install your seal to seal around it and it should be fine if you've got any really heavy um, protrusions that stick out into the bearing area make sure to file those down or grind them down whatever you need to do to make sure that your bearing sorry your seal can fit down inside there without distorting and twisting